Well, from cavities to crowns, you've just wasted your money if it's poorly done dental work. My next guest will make you feel like royalty and look like it too, and even has crowns to prove it. Please welcome family and cosmetic dentist Dr. Terry Alani, along with her patient, Larry Walther. Hi. <laughs> All right, you know, a lot of us just kind of like fix it and forget about it. We think if we've already had the crowns, we've already had those fillings, all those things done, we have a tendency to slack off and not get them constantly checked. But the old way of doing crowns and things, they can lift and that causes other problems. Right, you can get decay under your crown. Crowns can break, um, might be ill-fitting or you might have gum disease around them. So you, you have to get checked regularly by your dentist. Yeah. All right, this is a new day and a whole new crown. What's different about it is, this one? I'm very excited because the crown is virtually unbreakable. Ooh. Um, how many times have we, I cannot tell you how many times we get an emergency call, oh, my crown broke, or I was eating a popcorn kernel and the crown fractured. Well, they've now come up with a basically ceramic steel all zirconium crown that is virtually unbreakable. Wow, okay, we talked a little bit earlier about poorly done dental work. You know, people will sometimes try to shop around for the cheapest deal. Exactly. This is a case, oftentimes, you get what you pay for. Exactly, and what I really want to emphasize, Deborah, is we've done porcelain to, uh, with a metal substructure for back crowns for the last 40 years. And basically, they look like this, to where really you have a metal substructure and porcelain on the outside. Uh -huh. And there's different types of metal that the crown, that the lab can use. In our lab, we use a noble alloy that might have some gold and other things, but there are other less expensive labs, so you really have to be careful when you're um, checking for a dentist because a lot of their crowns will have, the metal will have nickel in them. Mm. We do not do that in our practice, so therefore the crown will be less expensive. So you yeah. have to be what very is, careful. Why is that nickel bad? Um, it can cause allergies and it can cause uh, the margins not to be adapted so, uh, so nicely so you can get decay underneath. Okay. Okay, oh. and so basically what we've gone to in our practice is metal-free dentistry. Larry, you had had dental work done over the years yes, and started to notice that, that maintenance time was coming up. And That's things right. Were, yeah. So what was happening in your mouth that you were saying, uh-oh, got to get in? Well, it was a combination of things. I, um, I was having fissures and th I was seeing a lot of things in my teeth that I didn't like, okay? And then I had, I was grinding a lot. Mm -hmm. And so I, and my, my bridge was actually starting to, I could feel, you know, that it was, it was starting to mess my bottom teeth up. So I went to, and besides Oh, but the, before you went, before you went, it's, it's kind of how it happens with men. Didn't we have like a, an intervention of sorts? Yes. 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 Well, it, it was a combination of my daughter was getting married, mm -hmm. and my wife was saying that, you know, you, you need to have you something go. done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and so, as a matter of fact, she was watching your show, mm -hmm. which she does every day, and records Aww. it every day religiously. <laughs> And, good. Um, that's a good wife. Let me say oh, that's a good wife. She is. She okay. she loves your show. And so uh, and so I uh, she saw Dr. Alani on there and, and I came home one day and I said I really need to do something about these teeth and because I finally came to the grips with it and uh, she said Well I know where you need to go. You need to go, to Dr. Terry Alani. And uh, a secure because, woman too because yes. she's cute. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And um, so I did and I came in and she was just as professional and as awesome as I thought she would be. But well, we she bonded was. because he's an Aggie. Well, I'm an <laughs> and we bonded, no pun intended there, exactly. right? Exactly. <laughs> All right. So um, what was going on in his mouth, uh, Terry, that you were able to fix? Well, he had a bridge that yeah. I don't know how old it was. It was 40 years old. 40, 40 years, years old. Now you're giving away wow. your age. I know, giving away my age. <laughs> he anyway, got it at birth before it was yeah. old and it was leaking at the margins. It was discolored and the teeth on either side were just not shaped properly. He needed a little bit more length added and his teeth needed to be wider. Just a better appearance. Yeah. All right, and then when it comes to crowns, uh, I mentioned earlier you, you kind of get what you pay for. Uh, sometimes people will, you know, wrinkle our nose. We'll pay for what we want, but we complain about what we need. But those crowns, what the work that it takes to get that made to fit perfectly in your mouth, where nobody will know that it's not yours, there's a process. There, there is, and the all uh, zirconian crowns, which we call ceramic steel, because the new material actually is the same material that is used in the aerospace industry and also in hip replacements. This stuff is strong, and you guys will see because I'm going to. Try Try to break it with a hammer. And um, basically, the marginal adaptation is 15 microns. What that means is that you just 
will probably not get any leakage whatsoever. They're biocompatible, so they're sort of holistic. Mm -hmm. And also, um, they wear very nicely, so they don't wear your opposing teeth down. All right. And we use these really in the back teeth. The and front, you don't want wearing your, your opposing teeth down because you have that grinding issue. Exactly. And in Larry's case, they're called Bella Forte crowns, which is what my lab sort of uh, labeled. Mm -hmm. So if you go to an, if you, any of the viewers out there are going to their dentist, if you ask for a Bella Forte crown, the dentist might not know what you want, but just say a ceramic, all ceramic, zirconia ceramic steel crown. My lab happens to warranty these for life. Okay. That's how well he why. believes in them. You're right. If you're biting down all right. popcorn Should or anything wanna, else, put here it you go, on. Deborah, you can wear oh. this. <laughs> oh, you, do you want me up there? To, okay, there we go. You're going to smash that. <laughs> okay, this one is the all <laughs> porcelain the crown. Okay, this is the porcelain crown that we've been using for years. And this will break. There you go. It's all okay. in the pieces. And then this one is our, I can use this one, is the all ceramic crown. And it doesn't matter how much I hit this thing, it will not break. Wow. It just won't break. And, yeah, and you'll never be eating anything that hard. Right? Exactly. And um, these crowns are milled, so it's a whole new process where the lab has to actually invest in a milling machine. So they're very, very precise, and basically, this is the wave of the future. Yeah, and so your 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 your, your teeth now. When you look in the mirror, or your wife looks in the mirror, or wife looks at your mouth, rather. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's like, wow. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right. It's awesome. Well, Dr. Terry Lani has a special offer for Great Day viewers. Mention you saw her on the show today, and all new patients will receive two hundred dollars off any. Crown. If you'd like more on Dr. Lonnie's services, call 713-621-5141, 713-621-5141, or visit her online at texasteethlady.com or on Facebook. Plus, you can listen to Dr. Lonnie and her brother, Dr. Wayne Alani, every Sunday at 12 p.m. on 7.40 a.m. KTRH. The show is called The Alani Docs, but they cover a little bit of everything. All right, uh, up next... And the beat goes on, how a local mom found comfort after her son died in a car crash. It's a story of healing.